Hi, it's Malcolm here and welcome to this video on the Daily Place Ratings. Um, I've been creating ratings for about a year and a half now um, in different ways um, and this is one um, idea I've come up with over the last few weeks. Now, in this video, I'm not going to go too much into each particular rating. What I'm going to show you is one possibility um, that you can use with the ratings. Now, to be honest with you, what I'm going to show you, I wouldn't always use the idea simply because I don't often like using ratings as a way of pointing to a winner just because of that rating. What I tend to do is use them as a help in um, pointing me to winners, but probably base it on a, on a, a bit more information than, than just the rating figure. Um, that's why you'll you'll often see if I create ratings, there won't be just one figure. There will probably be two, three, four, five, maybe more. Um, so I can look at different um, types of ratings to give me a better idea of what runner to be on. Um, but in this particular case, we're going to make it easy, um, and we're just going to select one runner in the race um, to place. Now, although some of these runners do win, in this particular case, I'm just using them to place and see what happens. Now, what I do is if I change this to the 19th, which is today, um, we can see the race card as it is. Now, you'll notice um, that early rank, first and second, are highlighted. Now, that's the ranking based on the early morning prices at about five to between five and six o'clock, depending on when we get them. Um, but that's what that's based on and that's what I call my anchor so basically I'm anchoring the whole system to these two selections um, in, in each race now from there I, I will make other decisions so in this case we're going to just take the highest figure now in most cases it will be the um, top ranked um, but not in all cases and you'll, you'll see this as we go along so today um, in this race, in the 12 o'clock, I would take this runner um, as my selection because out of those two ranked runners, it's the highest. Okay, 129 against 106. Um, in the next race, um, we've got 97.59 against 65.93, so that would be the selection again. Okay, and basically we just go down doing that. In this race, now this is a four runner race, I probably wouldn't be on this. Um, for the simple reason is there's no place and so you've got to accept that that might be a winner. Now, there may be ways of clarifying this using these figures here. I mean, it's quite, um, compared to the others, it's quite a high number. Um, so it may well be, be worth going on. But, you know, I, I, I'm always a bit wary about being only getting a first place. Okay, so here we've got um, 13 against 11. Um, and the other thing I want to mention, these are quite low figures. So again, it may be that we shouldn't really be on these anyway. So what I tend to do is I'm looking at that, that at the moment for a threshold, like I might only be in races where both runners are at least 25 or the top rated is at least 25 or 30 or something like that. Not too sure about that because we do get um, a lot of places even lower. Um, the other thing is I don't generally take selections where they're a minus figure. If one of these is a minus figure, normally I don't take either. Um, but again, that's something we need to look at. Um, in this case, it's first ranked again at 129. Um, in this case, again, it's first ranked at 27.32 against 24. Um, in this case, it's first ranked again. Um, in this case, it's second ranked. It's slightly higher at 58.85. Um, so that would be our selection um, in this case. Um, again, it's first. Um, here, it's second at 14.88. Um, first. It, you, do, you notice that the lowest selections, um, when we're talking about lowest numbers or lowish numbers, often the second will be a higher um, number. So that might be something that we need to look at. Um, First, um, first, uh, first again. So most of these are, are first, and you can see that first, first. So we're basically on the first um, ranked runner. Um, there may be something to do, um, look at how close these are and whether you should use these other figures, that sort of thing. But anyway, that's how they're working at the moment in this particular race. So let's have a look at yesterday. So we can see some results. Okay, so 
um, these are results from yesterday so you can see um, the result um, it shows you if it's if it's um, a first second or third place or a fourth place if it's a, a larger field or a two, two places if it's a smaller field um, or one place if it's a, a four um, run a race which I said that I'm probably not going to be on very often if at all okay so the highest rank by miles was number one and that came in um, at 2.26 um, the highest rank was first and that came in um, the highest ranked was second and that came second the highest ranked was 21 and that didn't come uh, sorry the highest rank was 42 yes it did come in um, at 0.4 m the highest ranked was second now there's a classic example see first didn't come in but second did um, at 0.65 um, first didn't come in um, but the highest one was second first did come in second um, two uh, so we didn't win on that one uh, we won on that one we didn't on that one um, and the first was um, was pulled or something anyway um, we won on that one and we would have got a second um, we got a got placement on the other one we didn't come anywhere on either of those again low numbers um, we got first and a second but we would have been on the second and quite a nice price at 1.79 and that's why sometimes taking the second just adds a little bit to the pot although looking you might see that just looking at this the first do come in a lot so you know um, the first ranked so you might want to have a look at that but um, in this case the second didn't win so we would have lost um, in this case the first didn't come in so we would have lost um, we wouldn't have won on either of those and again it was a four runner race so we probably wouldn't have been on it um, and again we lost on this one where first rank was 71 point, oh yeah sorry 71.69 but um, the second rank did come in at 1.9 looking at um, if we look at one more day if we go back to the 17th um, we won on that one uh, both came first and second so we would have won on that one um, we would have won on that one we won no we didn't we lost on that one because 26 um, it was pulled um, we won on that one we won on that one we lost on that one again low ratings um, but we won on that one that was a non-runner now if one of them is a non-runner I generally don't take the other one so the top one we're looking at is a non-runner then I wouldn't just go for the second one I'd probably leave the race um, that was our selection and it didn't come in and that was our selection and it did come in so you know as you can see they're, they're, they do actually place quite often so and I think with a little bit more clarification um, or using some of the other figures may um, improve the strike rate if you just want to have a look at the two you can do that just click that button there and it will just show you those top two um, so you can look down and say quite quickly um, yeah we won yeah we won yeah we won yes no we lost on both of them um, we won on that one we won on that one um, we lost on that one we won on that one we lost well we didn't go in that race because it was a non-runner um, we lost on that one and we won on that one so it's a quick way of looking at it okay well thank you for watching i hope you enjoy the selections or, or trying them out and um, watch out for the next video in the next couple of days which will explain a little bit more about the, um, the ratings and some other possibilities that you could use them for okay thank you see you soon bye bye